It look, the shadows make it look like you had a goatee. That was a little scary. Like a... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Fun facts about girls? Are there fun facts about girls? They're not real. Uh, you heard it here first. It's a simulation. Yeah. Don't let them fool you. Yeah. Is that my brother? Yes. We look very similar. We look alike. Sibling check. He's adopted. <laughs> By who? Your mom. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, this is such a rough way to learn. <laughs> <laughs> in front of the world yeah essay tips um just write whatever comes to your mind first and then worry about editing later but like just get the ideas on paper first and then edit afterwards whale facts killer whale poop well actually damn it um killer whales are not whales they're dolphins but i was about to tell you Wait. a killer whale fact what do the one the killer whale fact do the killer whale fact the anyway fact. no the one i was showing you Oh, y you can go ahead. The really brutal way that they, like, all come together and swim under little bits of ice that have seals on them. So it, like, makes a big wave that washes the seal off. So then they're just in the water with a bunch of orcas that tear them apart. Yeah, it's a very coordinated attack. It's pretty cool. Do you have Fortnite? Do I? Yeah. Um, I think I still do. Cringe. What? <laughs> Sorry. I'm a dead tier Fortnite player. Oh my god. I was in there like season two. I have the John I have the original John Wick skin. So I'm cool. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> 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 the utter disappointment. Does do you guys ever like hear someone talk about themselves and you're like, that's a self roast, but they don't realize it's a self roast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fortnite was good back then. I'll take it your was. word for it. I'll take your word for it. I had to stop playing because all the children were better than me. Self roast guys, you're hearing it first. <laughs> Snake facts. Um if you ever see a video of snakes traveling on sand they go sideways and wiggle like that and that's called sidewinding scorpion facts um scorpions are pretty high in protein so people are trying to figure out ways to market bugs as protein including scorpions because they are a sustainable source of protein do solving cubes make you more smart um i don't think inherently Imagine it's like playing chess where it's like, or like doing puzzles where it's like good for your brain, but I don't think it changes your intelligence. Yeah, but it is good to learn new skills. Giraffe fact. I feel like I just give the same giraffe fact, but giraffes are such like weird little dudes that the I should have one. like, huh? Yeah, um, that giraffes are sometimes seen licking skulls of dead skeleton animals. <laughs> Um, not because they're particularly morbid, but because they need calcium, and bones are a good way to get calcium, so they just, you can see pictures of giraffes eating skulls. <laughs> not eating them, licking them. You already knew the giraffe fact because I said it in a live before. Yeah, I need new giraffe facts. Can you look up how long a giraffe's tongue is? Oh, me? Yeah. I feel like that'll be a fun fact. I want to know how long a giraffe's tongue is. Well, the giraffes are pregnant for 15 months. That's horrible. Um, and the tongue is like 20 inches long. Ugh! Grotesque. Elephants are pregnant for 18 to 22 months. That is true. Horse That's facts. Crazy. Horse facts. I also need to give more horse facts. Um... Ponies are not just baby horses. Ponies are actually, like, grown-up horses that are just small. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> rat facts. Rat facts. Um, a fun rat fact is that one of the really famous sociology studies has to do with, like, in structural, like, the built environment. So what is physically around you in the environment you live in. So one of the famous rat studies involves like 
what do rats do if they have access to both drugs and entertainment versus if they only have access to drugs? So rats were trained to get a hit of a certain drug that I don't know if I'm allowed to say on live, but they got a hit of a drug. Um, but then some of the rats were given things to play with and some of the rats weren't. So the rats who were given things to play with got the hit of the drug sometimes, but like were largely not that interested in it. But the rats who only had like the drug thing and no stimulation like did the drug a lot. So that really emphasized how things like addiction and drug use is so influenced by your built environment, not just like innate behavioral tendencies. Did the rats smoke? No, it was an illicit opioid, a very famous illicit opioid. Um, that is not actually a bad word, but like, I don't know how much TikTok filters by the words that I say, so I'm already pushing it with saying the word drug. Are mice like mini rats? No, they're different species. Rats are cute. Why does everyone say they're ugly? Um, it's like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And if you are, if you have a pet rat, it can be cute because it's well taken care of. But if it's like a rat on the street, no. The tail. <laughs> the tail. Of rats. Um, I saw a, a pretty cute rat the other day. Where? Like, just, just wandering. <laughs> meandering the streets. You're familiar? I guess scurrying. Not really meandering, more just cute, uh, scurrying. Have I seen Halloween decorations in stores? Like, now? Or, like, ever? Because <laughs> <laughs> one no, is never, a... Never, Because one's never a definite yes, one. and one's a definite no. <laughs> Favorite ninja turtle? <laughs> I'll um, let you take that one. Oh, that's hard. Just name I one. I feel like it's basic. Mm. I'll go with Leonardo. Wow. Basic. No, no. It's better than saying, like, Raphael. Donatello was my guess, yeah. Honestly, Donatello's a good one. I'm like, I mean, I also haven't watched the show, so, like, I'm like, just name one. <laughs> Is my cube smooth? Does this cube sound smooth to you? The excessive force required to... Does the way that I'm struggling with this cube sound good to you? What's 9 divided by 10? I'm actually gonna answer this in a kind of funny way because I want to. If you are a mathematician, it's 9 tenths. Actually, if you're a mathematician, it'll only be 0.9. If you're like an elementary schooler, it's 9 tenths. If you're a computer, it's 0. Why is that? Because if you are a computer working in int, then you round. Oh, if you're working in int, yeah. Yeah, you round down. Maybe just work in float then, so you get a better answer. Ew, L float. What? I think I... I've always been a double girly. Why? I don't know, I just, that's what I learned on. You have not done C then. I have not. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to patronize me for it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Because I could... Go ahead, try. Try to patronize me. Why does erosion happen? That's a great question. Um, it is just the, like earth is not completely solid, right? It's not like hard enough to never be able to crumble. So it's just when you apply enough force. So erosion can happen through like water, can happen through natural disasters like landslides or like due to loss of forestry. How do you study physics? Unfortunately, a lot of reading and problem solving. And crying. Not much crying. You lose the will to cry pretty fast. I don't get it. I don't I don't pretend to get it, guys. I don't pretend to get it. <laughs> wow, for the first time ever. Yeah, I put my phantom cube on the ice pack and I didn't notice until just now. But there you go. That's what it's supposed to look like when it's cold and it's supposed to like heat up with my hands. But like this is what the phantom cube is supposed to look like. It looks kind of silly now. It looks like I got ink on it. Black hole fact. What? Well, just read that the supermassive black holes at the center of our universe were are supposedly much much bigger than what we thought to be possible or conceivable inconceivable um, which that's that's kind of cool spelling facts actually this is a fun spelling I, I fact can't. what oh yeah he can um fun spelling fact is that the word misspell is one of the most commonly misspelled words <laughs> isn't With that two a s's yes isn't <laughs> not you making me second guess myself 
Have you um, ever tried a Rubik's Cube? Me? Yeah. I have, yes. <laughs> it did not go well. I think last live I tried a Rubik's Cube. You did? I did, like, two-thirds of it. I, did, I didn't do the hard third. Do you think people would believe me if I said that I have tried a Rubik's Cube before? Probably not. Yeah. You don't look very trustworthy. Gasp. But you refuse that anyone spells experience correctly the first time? No. Experience is fine. What? Experience is fine. It's occasion that gets me. Occasion? Yeah. I think exercise gets me sometimes. Exercise? Yeah. Bruh. Yeah, occasion gets me every <laughs> Occasion gets me every single time. You're taking trig and algebra this year. Trig is fun. Trig is actually like semi useful in other fields. Yeah, you're always gonna use trig. Yeah, and also algebra. Algebra's great. I love algebra, it's so much fun. I feel like algebra algebra is one of those things that's taught really poorly in like elementary and middle school and then people get are really bad at it and get into like advanced physics classes like after they've taken calculus and they just don't understand algebra here's my thing about algebra is that like if you're relatively good at math aka you're good enough to be taking calculus and stuff you can just derive algebra like algebra is just like intuitive whereas like calculus i feel like you have to learn all of the rules Mm. like you can derive calculus but like you kind of have to learn the rules but like algebra is you just it's just logic is just poorly taught so i will agree with you on that exponents are cool i love so exponents true. i feel like exponents were one of the most criminally undertaught things because like i would tutor kids and like they would just not know their exponent rules but i'm like bro exponent rules are fun they're what like exponent rules yeah. oh like if they're the same base you yeah, can yeah, add yeah, the yeah, exponents yeah. or like subtract them if you're dividing right yeah uh, i see pregnant women are just human submarines that's pretty <laughs> funny <laughs> What are my thoughts on geometry? L. What? L subset of math. What? Hate geometry. Despise Why? it. You said you loved sine, cosine, tangent. Yeah, but that's trig. That's like baby geometry. I guess so. Why must the internet have trolls? Because we live in a society. Okay. <laughs> Why does Y equals MX plus B and it's not B equals MX plus Y? Well, the X and the Y, it can be. Like, the variables are all arbitrary, but the likely reason for that specific one is that Y and X correspond to the coordinates, and we already understand coordinates as X and Y as a standard thing. So we keep X and Y in the same place, and then M and B are just probably made up by whoever came up with the formula. I mean, it would still work. It's just going to be harder to intuit when you're graphing. It's literally just like what makes sense to teach people and to tell people yeah walking computer i think everybody's a walking computer right because your brain is a computer but it has cool like built-in shortcuts and that's why crabs make good computers what what are you saying i swear i told you about that the whole like experiment where you can make uh crabs do like soldier crabs do logic paths and then you you can you know build a computer out of crab logic paths and you could take like 16 million crabs and run doom what it was a pretty awesome publication oh my gosh who is he who are you what's your full name um sir Friedrich of wellington the fourth that is a whole title should siblings date not each other. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> you like Beef Wellington? Mm-hmm. Do you get that a lot? When no. you tell people that your name and they're like, I like Beef Wellington? No, I think that's the first time. <laughs> sloth fact, sloth fact. Is it time for the sloth fact? Sure. Sad sloth fact club? Everybody who is here now will now be inducted into the sad sloth fact club pins coming soon jk unless (laughs) yeah so sloths live most of their lives in trees because they're really slow boys and they can just like exist in the trees and predators can't get them but one thing they do come down off their trees for is to poop which leaves them very vulnerable and unfortunately over half of all sloth deaths of this particular sloth are because they get got while trying to poop L. L. (laughs) Do you know how to solve a cube? I do know how to solve a cube. Do you? Yeah, you just turn it a little bit. (laughs) Yeah. Can I let him? Let him what? I guess solve a cube. Can I let you solve a cube? 
Half of these are your I can, cubes. Yeah, I can solve my cube. <laughs> half the cubes are his, so. More than half. Yeah. Do you have any car facts? Car facts? Yeah. Well, I feel like that's one of those things that I have a lot of facts about. Um, that it's like hard to just pull one out. Automatic transmission used to be made with sperm whale oil. And then due to the Environmental Protection Act and importing laws and restrictions, they stopped being able to use sperm whale oil. And then a bunch of car crashes happened because the oil that they used to replace it wasn't as good. Was it like sperm whale oil for the uh, transmission? Yeah. Lubricant? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. We should go back to that. No! They're endangered! Yeah, but like, think about it. It's like, this is a whale-powered car. Yeah, your car runs on horsepower, mine's is whale power. <laughs> exactly. If gasoline is so flammable, how does a car not explode when you press the gas? Because you like what's actually exploding, it's very highly regulated either through fuel injectors or carburetors, what the air-fuel mixture is, and that it can be contained within the cylinder. I'll pretend I understood that. There's a book in Harvard made of human skin. True. What's it about? I don't know. I don't remember. The dark arts. Yeah. But that is a true fact. Any facts on leprechauns? I used to be scared of leprechauns. I mean, rightfully so. <laughs> Have you seen the movies? No. The leprechaun movies? No, there's They're leprechaun movies? chilling. I would recommend against it. I think they would, uh, they'd give you nightmares. Really? That bad? Hot. No, they're not bad, but I think they still would. Just People wants to steal you from me? I think that's the first time somebody, ha honestly, like, that's the first time that's the first somebody, time it's that like, way. Yeah. yeah, usually people are mad at you, mm -hmm. but now they're like, can I steal him? And the answer is no, you can't. Locked down for, for life. Not for sale. No. Oh. You can't say that! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're gonna get me canceled! No. Yeah. Why do people like different things? There's a certain amount of randomness and spont spontaneity that's actually good for a species because if you have a little bit of randomness and not everybody is the same then it's advantageous for like if one thing happens that one person either doesn't like or is susceptible to then like not the entire population is gonna get got mm. so that's why being different is good not just an elementary school platitude <laughs> What's the chemical composition of the cell membrane in the cell nucleus of mercury? There's mercury no- doesn't have a nucleus. There's no nucleus in mercury. I mean, there is a nucleus, but it's not a- Not a cell nucleus. Not a cell nucleus. Yeah. I like how both of us were like, a nucleus! <laughs> Barbie or Oppenheimer? Why not both? Why not both? I think people are really limiting themselves, choosing between the two. What's the best thing about human biology? Oh, there's so many great things about human biology. Humans are just neato. I mean, there's a lot of flaws, design flaws, honestly. Like the tailbone. Like the no, the tailbone is just vestigial. She's cute. She's get rid of that. She's a relic. Flip it. <laughs> seal facts. Did you know that seals molt? Mm -hmm. Some seals molt. Yeah. I did not know that, but some seals molt. Humans being neato is a great fact. Yeah. The best thing is all a mystery. We can understand more about the ocean than we know about ourselves. Interesting. I don't know if we necessarily mo know more about the ocean, but we actually don't know a lot about the ocean. Would you feel it in your, if your immune systems in your eyes cross with your bodies? I mean, you would definitely sense it. You wouldn't be able to see. So you would definitely notice. <laughs> From hovering over you is creepy. My bad. <laughs> the camera, the, the camera focus is not big enough for us to sit side by side i'm just and I am, too i'm too bulky i'm yeah too... it is just it's hard to get around this hulk <laughs> i'm lat spreading on you yeah I'm, yeah adrenaline fact if you have an epipen like the thing inside the epipen is just adrenaline pretty much why is astronomy important if the universe is beyond our reach anyway um that is actually a genuine question that people talk about like how much should we invest in like, you know, learning the genesis of the universe or something? I feel like the most compelling reason for me is just, we are always going to be curious. It would start going into this weird judgment value thing, where if we say like only this is worthy of 
usefulness and therefore this is the only thing that can get funding like the reason why people research things is not because it's necessarily extremely useful or like the most useful thing they think we can possibly be doing is because they're interested in it mm-hmm. okay i think that was the la- oh yeah okay we have to fix this first <laughs> this is what happened last time <laughs> this is what happened last time i was like I got okay bored and you confused. got bored and confused <laughs> no fish aren't a thing i've heard yeah, that that's before. a good thought to end on fish aren't a thing